Hey everyone, Surreal Canon here. Welcome back to uh, more Disgaea D2. Let's do the character demos for uh, episode 7. Uh, there are only three to do today. I'm actually running out of the. Uh, actually running out of classes to. generic classes to demo entirely. These will be the last three that uh, can be unlocked outside of item world shenanigans uh, up through chapter 7. Just uh, get the uh, stuff back to normal here. <clears throat> We've got three humanoid classes this time. No monsters, which means uh, this is going to be kind of a shorter demo than usual, I think. Alright, first up, we have the Onmyo Monk. Onmyo Monks are uh, returning from Disgaea 4, I believe. Yeah, this guy of four. Uh, they're the replacement for the, uh, what is it, the wise man, druid, sage. Well, maybe not the sage, but uh, that class. And what they do is they are all about geopanels. They're, uh, they're mostly magical units. You can see they... Uh, uh, they like staves and books, most of all. Uh, no natural S ranks among them. But their int and res are pretty high. Their attack is also uh, a decent amount. These guys could be pretty okay at anything, I suppose. Except tanking. 90% <laughs> HP is uh, something, but I mean, who tanks in a disguise game anyway? A reveal it, uh, well, well, first of all, uh, you can see that they have, uh, four tiers of star magic, two tiers of, uh, healing. And they also got a couple of, uh, skills that only work in the item world. Geo change rearranges geo panels and symbols, uh, I think it only works once per item world floor, and it only works in the item world. Bonus change changes the, uh, end of level bonuses. Uh, you can use that repeatedly. Only works in the item world. Geo Blast destroys a, sol a geo symbol. Just uh, instant uh, death blow, or rather, it inflicts a death blow on it. Only works in the item world, of course. And Geo Warp uh, allows our Omnio Monk to just teleport. Could be useful for navigating the item world, I suppose. As for abilities, Geo Resist uh, nullifies damage from Geo Effects and Geo Chains, which is really good if you end up with something like, I don't know, the Ally Move Damage. <laughs> I bet you that's a thing in this game, and I bet you it's going to suck, but this guy can get around that. <clears throat> Geo Protect. Damage to ally units from Geo Effects and Geo Chains will be nullified. That's interesting. So this works on yourself. I'm assuming this works on all allies except yourself. Maybe. Geo Damage. Increased damage dealt by Geo Effects and Geo Chains by 100%. Which is uh, pretty neat, I suppose. But if I'm going to go with any of them, I'm probably going to go with this one. Eh, what the heck. Let's show off it. Let's show off the uh, Omega Star just while we're here. Is that so? It's the Dark Sun from Disgaea 2! It would have sucked if he turned that, uh, that Mothman, or that ghost into a dragon. Got my eye on you, Dark Sun. Shamans are a debuffing class. Uh, th all of their abilities are passive debuffs, and uh, they also have some... Uh, well, let's uh, open up their page here. Yeah. Uh, int. 
Into an SP. That's their uh, that's their specialty. They prefer staves, as you can see. So yeah, not bad, I suppose. Anyway, uh, right. So their skills. Uh, you can see they learn two levels of star magic. Uh, they learn every debuff spell and every status spell, which is pretty good. Uh, they definitely their job is definitely a job that they do well. Now then, Curse Dance is a uh, passive stat debuff to all enemies on the map. It stacks, so uh, if you bring in 10 shamans, you get a 50% penalty. It's pretty cool. Gloomy Dance makes status ailment spells 20% more effective. Note that this is different from the, the Mothman's uh, Miasma, which uh, just makes... Full of Miasma makes uh, status effects more likely to stick, whether they are inflicted by an attack or a spell, I think. Ominous Dance decreases evasion rate of enemy units by 20%. Very good to have if you're dealing with something that's a lot faster than you. Of course, uh... Well, I don't know. Yeah. Enemies a lot faster than you. You can... To have that without having a whole lot of hit necessarily. So, yeah. Might as well, uh. Well, I don't think I can reach, actually. Yeah, I can't reach. Alright, on to the next class. The Lady Samurai, uh, possibly also known as the Shrine Maiden. They're all about physical attack. You can see 145% in their attack stat. Uh, it's their highest stat by far. Besides uh, HP, but that much goes without saying, really. No special skills, but they are really good at swords. Bushido increases attack power by 50% when attacking enemy units from the front. Calm Waters increases attack power by 50% against a single target. Duelist increases attack power by 100% if the target is the only member of their job class on the map. Good for uh, soloing, right? good for uh, taking down bosses, I suppose. Definitely a class worth considering for raw offense. And yeah, that is our uh, demo. And I did that in the uh, entirety of the time it would uh, it would take for Fox to respond to my uh, RPG posts. So uh, yeah, go figure. <laughs> yeah, he's not feeling well tonight, so I'm just uh, I'm gonna let him off easy on this one. Anyway, uh, see you tomorrow for uh, chapter the chapter eight stream. It's gonna be fun.